In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your balance and have fun while doing it. I'm gonna show you a couple exercises. I'm gonna show you a game you can play at home that is easy to set up and requires no special equipment that will improve your balance. And I'm gonna explain some reasons why you shouldn't do any of these exercises so you don't hurt yourself. And I'll give you some resources to help you improve your balance if you need something a little bit easier. So make sure you watch through to the end of the video so you understand how to improve your balance safely no matter what level you're at. So if you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. First, for safety's sake, let's go through the reasons why you shouldn't do some of the things you're gonna see in this balance video. Number one is you can't even balance on one leg for 30 seconds even with some help or assistance. If you can't balance on one leg, at a time for 30 seconds without wobbling and falling over, you should not do any of the more advanced things that I'm gonna show you in this video. In addition, if you have low bone density like osteoporosis and your balance is kind of questionable and you see some of the things that I'm doing and you're thinking, ooh, that looks a little too hard for me, then you should not do the things that look too hard for you yet. The worst case scenario is you try to do something that's way above your pay grade and then you fall and break a bone and that is not worth the risk. If you're under 60 and you don't have bone density problems, you may feel for you personally that it's worthwhile to try some things that are hard, but please stay within a medium level of challenge so you never feel like you are risking your life and limb just to do something that you saw on YouTube. I mean, the guy on YouTube could do it, so why can't I? All those warnings aside, I do encourage you to watch the exercises and the game that I'm gonna show you in this video to improve your balance because this can be helpful for you to think about your long-term goal. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna to link to some beginner level videos to help you improve your balance. That way you'll have the resources you need to get better balance so that you can do the stuff that you're gonna see in this video. The key is play it safe, especially as you get older. It's very important that you manage your risk reward ratios appropriately. Jumping off a brick wall when you're 17 is a lot different than when you're 70. Now let's start with a simple exercise you can do to improve your balance. This will require some strength in your thigh muscles. If you don't have that, don't worry. I will link to a video at the end of this video that'll help you build some of that strength if for some reason you find this is too challenging, too crunchy, or too painful. But what we're gonna do is hold on to the wall or a stick, a foam roller, something sturdy enough to help you feel safe. Then you are going to be bending that knee and extending that knee. So you're working on kind of a mini single leg squat, okay? We're just working on building the strength of the muscles near the knee and also teaching the muscles around the hip joint to be able to handle this. When you feel ready and you feel stable enough, you can try this without any assistance, without the wall, without anything. Or if you want to find that middle ground, you can just use the help as needed so that it doesn't feel quite holy cow unstable, but still feels doable for you. You're gonna do repetitions of this until you feel fatigue around the knee and or the hip, or even in the ankle. The whole goal here is to get those muscles to be able to talk and to light up any areas that are weak, that are basically your weak links when trying to balance your body. You're gonna do this on both legs and check to see if one is weaker than the other. See if there's a range of motion difference from one side to the other. If you find that one side is weaker than the other side, you're gonna to wanna to do an extra set for that weaker side. So what I would suggest is you do two rounds on each leg and whichever leg is weaker, you do an extra set, so three for that weaker side. An even more advanced version of this is to actually throw in a little bit of a calf raise at the end. So you're coming up, and once you're up, you lift that heel. So you're training your ankle muscles, your calf muscles, to be able to woo, launch you forward and hop over stuff, or just course correct when you feel like you're losing your balance. Another variation on this is to just leave the knee bent, and then you're gonna use those calf muscles to lift you up. You can feel the soleus, which is a deep calf muscle, working to lift you up. That muscle and also those muscles that control your toes and the bottom of your foot are gonna be working to help you balance yourself as you go up and down. Again, use assistance as you need it, and if you feel like, hey, I might be able to do this without, then go without. 
When you're doing these exercises, just go to fatigue. It might be five, it might be 20, it might be 25, that's fine. Just work till you feel some muscle group getting tired. Once that muscle group is tired, go ahead and take a rest. You don't have to go to the point where your muscles are absolutely screaming at you. Once you feel a medium level of fatigue or even a light level of fatigue, especially as a beginner, you can just take a little bit of a rest. Over time, as you get stronger and you get used to this motion, you can start going into deeper levels of fatigue, but just don't cripple yourself with soreness. So can I do like a thousand reps in a day if I want to? No, please do not try to do a thousand reps in any one day or probably even in a week or even in a month. Take it easy, give yourself time to gradually get better at new exercises. When you start off with any new exercise, I would suggest starting off with once or twice a week, meaning Monday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Saturday. You wanna give yourself time to recover and adjust and kind of feel what muscles are getting challenged when you're doing this new stuff. So on the days you're doing these exercises, you're doing two rounds on each leg plus an extra round on the weaker side, whichever side you find that is. Over time, you can experiment with what your balance is like when you're in different levels of hip flexion, meaning folded forward. You can experiment with having one leg out to the side and see how that feels. You can play around with the leg position of the free leg and work on those up and down little mini squats with your stance leg. Now let's talk about a simple game you can set up at home to help you improve your balance. Is this game available on the iPad? This game is not available on any electronic device and I will never release a game on any electronic device, so stop asking. Throughout this whole video, you've probably noticed that the floor around me is cluttered. And yes, I am a messy person, but no, I don't normally leave so much clutter around me when I film. All these random items on the floor are actually an example of the literary device known as foreshadowing. I don't like to read books. Then I feel very sorry for you, but we're still going to use all these things on the floor to help us improve our balance. What we're going to do is put random things on the floor, then go ahead and bend your knees, and then start to experiment with stepping in and out of the spaces between the items you've put on the floor. This can be in any configuration at all. Work on taking big steps. Work on taking small, tiny steps. You can cross over, you can cross under. The goal is to pretend that you have a four-year-old in your house who leaves toys all over the place. But to make it more fun, you can imagine that all these things that are on the floor are actually poisonous, and if you touch them, you will die. Oh, I, I think I've played this game on the iPad before. I want to take one second to say thank you to Earl, Barbara, Phoebe, and Antic for your support of the Upright Health channel. Support this channel by using the thanks button or the PayPal link that you'll find down below. Now let's get back to improving your balance. Even better, you can put your iPad on the floor and then you'll have really high stakes to make sure that you have the balance to avoid stepping on your iPad. And I hope that you actually mess up and step on your iPad and break it. Just set a timer for 30 to 60 seconds and do two to three rounds of some creative movement through your little obstacle course. You can throw a bunch of things around, you can just have a few things, and just work on how you can get around all this stuff. When the timer goes off, take a 30 to 60 second rest and then relax and do it over again. Make sure you play around with different variables like the width of your stance, how much knee bend you have, how far over you're bent over, and take these bigger steps. You can go backwards, just play around and see what your body can do and see what configurations you're able to balance in. If you are just starting with this, take it easy and then gradually make it harder on yourself. The more upright you are, generally the easier this is gonna be. Smaller steps are gonna be easier. Longer steps are gonna feel harder. And don't forget to practice doing some backward leaning if you feel like you can control it and it feels reasonably safe for you. Ah, ah, poison, poison. I would do this once or twice a week. You can just do it when you do the other exercises that I showed you earlier. Poison, poison. When you're trying to improve anything about your body, remember that it's gonna take time, so don't rush into doing the hardest version of anything that you've seen here. And if all of this just seems like, whoa, way too hard, no way am I gonna do that to improve my balance, that's okay. If you want easier exercises and you want some more ideas to help you improve balance, check out these videos right here. If you found this video helpful, use the thanks button or the PayPal link that you'll find in the description box. I promise I will not use your money to buy myself a cane for better balance. Like 
share and subscribe. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.